Start my recording. Hello everyone, today is March 21st, it is 2021, and we are in front of the Federal Compound here in New Hampshire, it's uh, in Concord, the James Cleveland Federal Building and also the Courthouse, and today I'm going to be chalking, uh, expressing some protests against the fact that several people were arrested here in a federal raid on cryptocurrency usage, and I uh, targeted, I believe it was six people. Um, four of them have been released, two of them are still in custody. That is uh, somebody known as Rich Paul, also known as Nobody, and Ian Freeman uh, are the two people that are still locked up. And uh, basically Rich, I believe they're holding him just because he has so many priors that uh, they're claiming that he might be some sort of bail risk or he re there was ambiguous he might have refused conditions. Um, but Ian is being held, it was taken under advisement, his bail has not been denied yet, but it hasn't been granted yet either. There was a bail hearing the other day. So we're going to be chalking messages about freeing Ian and Rich, and also about how cryptocurrency and some of the stuff they're alleging, that's it's definitely not criminal activity, just people trading things amongst themselves. Um, they're saying that there is tangential criminal activity that may have occurred, and they're trying to link to it. But unless they are saying that uh, Ian and Rich were directly involved in crimes, which knowing Ian and Rich, I don't believe they were involved in crimes. At least when I say crimes, I mean harming another person, stealing from another person, deriving another person of property, or phys causing injury to their bodies. Um, those are not things that Ian or Rich would do. That's not something I would know any of the parties who were arrested to have done. Um, some of them I know uh, better than others, but none of them in any way that I know them has been that they have a reputation for harming people or trying to steal from people or hurt people. And the federal government definitely did some very harmful things to them, not only in the arrest, but the method of the raid was uh, very heavy-handed against Ian recently and his, especially against his roommates, the, his, the innocent bystanders, the people that were just living in his house that had to uh, suffer this very dangerous FBI raid with people in SWAT gear, smashing windows, um, doing all sorts of terrible things like that to people that they admitted in publicly when they were asked by the reporters posed no threat. So if people don't pose a threat, then why are you crashing into their homes to take all of their stuff um, if you know that they're not a threat to other people? So um, are we gonna be expressing that message here today? and uh, hopefully giving the, the people that are holding our friends and the people that are giving the orders to hold our friends reason to consider why these things are wrong and they shouldn't be doing them.